Welcome to the University of PubNub, UP 101 Publish and Subscribe Basics. In this course, we're going to go over this, the fundamental elements to get started with using PubNub and the Publish and Subscribe APIs. Things like what are your PubNub keys, your Publish Subscribe keys, what are channels, what are messages, how to use them all, and, and how to actually get the PubNub library into your environment uh, so you can get started writing the actual code. And we'll, final, we'll finish up with actually uh, showing you how to write the code, the Publish and Subscribe methods, and, uh, and, and, and sort of the parameters that, uh, at a very basic level. When you publish a message, you're actually asking PubNub to send a message to your subscribers. So there are three basic phases. You got the request to publish the message from your app to PubNub. PubNub takes that request and then sends that to all the subscribers that are actively subscribed and online. And then finally, the reception of that message by your subscribers in your application on the receiving end. Now, when it comes to actually setting up the publish and subscribe, there are three basic elements. One is the key set, your publish and subscribe keys. Next is channels. And finally, probably the most important is the actual message itself, the messages that you're sending. Now, your key set is your publish and subscribe key that you create when you set up your PubNub account. And each publish and subscribe key is a unique namespace for all the channels that you're going to publish to. In other words, when you publish on channel blue on one set of keys, for another set of keys, you would not receive that message if you were subscribed to Channel Blue. So you can think of each pub sub as a unique uh, namespace, and no other, nobody else, whether it's your set, another set of keys that you own or somebody else owns, will actually be able to publish and, and subscribe into your set of keys. Now, when it comes to channels, channels are very lightweight objects. They, you can create as many as you need, create for whatever purpose you need, and you don't have to worry about the cleanup or the maintenance or life cycle of channels. A channel exists merely by using it. So when you publish to a channel, that channel exists. There's no need to set it up, tell it what kind of channel it is. You just start using it. And if there are subscribers to that channel, they will receive the message. So when you go to subscribe to a channel, there's no need to, again, declare, I'm going to use this channel and these are the properties. There's no such thing as channel preparation in terms of PubNub. You may have some workflow uh, or business logic that, ha that goes into creating channels and, um, and maybe maintaining them in, a, in your own system. But when it comes to PubNub, just use them, stop using them, no need to do any maintenance. And finally, messages. Messages are just simply a JSON format uh, data of whatever you need to send. PubNub does not care what that data is as long as it's uh, not binary and it's less than 32 kilobytes. Other than that, what you send is up to you. Now, we say JSON formatted data, but it doesn't actually have to be JSON. We just recommend it. But uh, it could be any serializable object, depending on which platform you're on. But just it could be a string. It could be numbers. It could be uh, just some object in that framework you're using, Java, Ruby, whatever it is, as long as that, that object is serializable. But essentially, most people are using JSON format. And what is in that JSON formatted set of data is completely up to you, the keys and values. Now, we'll talk about another in other courses about special keys that we predefine to do special things. But for, for you, that key and that value can be whatever you need it to be.